Hi, I'm Michaela with Joyful Always Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate a stainless steel tumbler with a stencil from my con art. So let's get into our materials list. These are all the materials you'll need to make our tumbler. Um, you'll need some epoxy. I like counterculture DIYs artist resin. We'll also be using some gold and copper leaf for our design and some glitter. This is Halo from Backfist Customs. You'll want some cups and a stir stick to mix your epoxy. A popsicle stick will also work. And then to apply, I like to use a one inch sponge brush to apply my epoxy. I also like to have baby wipes on hand. They work wonderfully for cleaning up any spilled epoxy, um, as well as a variety of my favorite brushes for applying our tacket and our sealer. You'll want a torch um, to torch out the bubbles in your epoxy. Then we'll be using Tacket over and over to apply our leaf, and we'll be sealing that with a quick coat, um, which is a urethane sealer, also from Counterculture DIY. We'll also be using some speedball inks in our screen, and of course you'll need a stencil. Um, this is a design that I got off of Etsy, and you can find some great YouTube videos on how to make your icon art stencils. So mine is already made. Um, I have another for the inside. And of course you'll need your tumblers. I'm going to show you on two different size tumblers. This is the 32 ounce plump from Steel Magnolia and this is the 16 ounce junior from Steel Magnolia. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're ready to do our first coat of epoxy. As you can see I've already um, spray painted a base coat on my tumblers. I'm going to do one black and one white. And I have my epoxy mixed. The epoxy that I use calls for one um, equal parts of both A and B, so that's already mixed. And now we're just gonna add um, some glitter to the epoxy to give a little sparkle. This is Halo from Backfist Customs. We're gonna just tap a little bit. We don't want too much, but we definitely want enough to cover all the epoxy. Gently mix that in. And then I use the sponge brush to apply. So I people use um, a glove finger and I just take a little bit at a time. This coat doesn't need to be very thick. It can be a thin top coat or base coat. This is mostly just to add um, that little bit of shimmer and make a nice smooth surface for us to um, put the gold and copper leaf over. Okay, and then any extra resin that I have um, in my cup, I usually keep a mold nearby and I just pour it into that mold to make, to make a keychain out of later. So now we're gonna just torch it. You don't wanna hold the torch on one spot for too long because you can burn your epoxy. Okay, so I'll come back in about five minutes and torch it one more time, but after that, then we'll let it spin for four to six hours before I move it to my stand to dry, and then we'll come back tomorrow to do our next step. Okay, so we've let our epoxy harden, and now we're ready to do the first part of our design. So we want the underside of where the flower is going to be to be um, our leaf, so I'm going to first do um, put the stencil on once that way we know where to glue um, the leaf around because we want it to kind of go after the edge and then we'll do um, our final stencil over top of that once that's sealed. So I'm going to start with the smaller one. Now because of the the curve of this cup I'm only going to do the flower at the, on the top half. The flower is not going to go onto the bottom half. So I simply peel that off of there and then we'll set it gently on the cup. I like to start in the center and then work my way around. Smoothing it out as we go. We want it to be nice and flat. 
and you can even trim down your stencils if you want to um, so that there's not so much hanging off okay so I'm gonna use the yellow um, speedball paint just because this is gonna go underneath um, the leaf it doesn't really matter what color it is I just want to be able to see it and since I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same on both um, the dark and the light so the yellow will be able to be seen on both of them so I'll give it a good mix and this is where it gets a little bit tricky I'm gonna go ahead and I have a little handle with my noodle so that I can hold it. It's a little too long to keep it on my turner and then on my jig even it sticks out a little long on that side. And again, just make sure it's all nice and flat where the design is. Otherwise you'll get smudges underneath it. Which for this layer doesn't matter as much because it will be covered. For this part, I mostly just want the outside so I can see where the um, petals end because I want the gold leaf to go a little farther than the petals. Okay. So then we're just going to gently pull the stencil off. And you can see I didn't get the middle and that's okay. I just really need to know where the outside is. So I'm going to put it on my stand right there to dry while we move on to the next one. There we go. So I'm going to go rinse this out and let these dry for a moment and then we'll come back. So we're ready to apply our leaf. Um, we're going to use Tacket over and over and I have some already mixed. I like to mix it with a little bit of water, just um, makes it go a little farther. Um, you can kind of see the consistency, it's a little bit runny, but not too runny. Um, and then I just use a brush to apply it. I like to use the tacket um, over and over when doing this because um, when it, it's dry, it's still tacky. Whereas like with Mod Podge or other glue, you have a shorter amount of work time. So we've got a longer, a larger work, work time using the tacket for this. So I'm going to go, um, if you can see on here, definitely on this one, you'll be able to see a little bit outside of the edge. That way um, the gold leaf, once I do the print over top of it, it will um, border it still. You may be able to see the paint is kind of mixing a little bit with the, the glue. That's not a problem. Once we get the leaf on, um, we'll make sure and seal it super well. So it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. You're going to want to make sure you wash off your paintbrush really well when you're done. All the leaf is super messy, so I'm going to put down... This is just some parchment paper or uh, the pre-cut like cookie sheet size. And it also um, the gold the leaf uh, is very light, so it, I would not suggest having a fan on when you're working with it because it will just go wherever it wants to. So once we get it fully covered, I'm going to use this brush, use a not your favorite brush because it can break it a little bit and we're going to really push, push it in there and push it around. If you see any spots that are bare, um, just kind of push some of the gold leaf over it and it will 
the glue will do its job and we'll grab it. That one's done. So now we're going to scoot over and go to this one. So because we used the tacket over and over, it's still pretty tacky. If we had used Mod Podge or other kind of glue um, that would be dry by now, we would have had to paint it or glue it again. So I'm going to use the gold on this one. So we're gonna give it a minute to just kind of sit and then we'll come back and we'll seal it. Okay, we're ready to seal it now. So we're gonna use um, Quick Tote from uh, Counterculture DIY. It's a urethane sealer. Um, and then I'm gonna use this little brush to apply it. You only need thin coats at a time. And you can dry it with a blow dryer in between each layer, but we're gonna just let it naturally dry. Um, so I'll show you doing the first coat and then we'll let it dry and I'll come back and probably do a good four or five coats just to make sure it's um, super sealed under. You do wanna make sure with this stuff that um, you get that it is completely dry before you go on to the next layer. So like I mentioned, you can use a blow dryer or you can let it naturally air dry. When it air dries, um, it takes maybe 15 minutes for the coat to dry. When you use a blow dryer um, on my turner, it only takes one turn and then the blow dryer dries it completely. So we're going to let this air dry and then I'm going to do um, a good three or four more coats and then we'll come back. So now we have a good few layers of um, sealer over our leaf. So if you can see, you can kind of still see the imprint of um, where the design was underneath it. So that'll help us to position um, our flower back on. And I do have two, I'm gonna do them both different colors. So I'm gonna um, use the purple stencil on the smaller cup and do it in that color, go and wash it off. And then I'll come back and use the other stencil on the other one just to make it a little quicker. You can use the same stencil, but you'll want it to dry in between washes if you're gonna do different colors. Okay, so we've got our petal part dry, so we're gonna go ahead and add um, the center part of our stencil. We're gonna do both of them in white, so um, we're just gonna use the same stencil for both since they're both gonna be the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash out my stencil and we're gonna let these dry overnight and then tomorrow we will finish off with our final coat of epoxy. Okay, we have let our ink dry overnight. So we are now ready for our top coat of epoxy. First, I'm gonna put my label on the bottom. And I make my labels out of printable vinyl and I just print them and then I use um, a sew out machine to cut them out into circles. Okay, so we'll let these spin for the next four to six hours and then I'll put them on my rack to dry. And tomorrow we'll come back and sand it down and add one final top layer of epoxy. I went ahead and sanded it down and added the final coat of epoxy. Here are our finished products. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you.